hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is nosa girl today i'm going to show you how to organize your spice cabinet so that it's looking beautiful and so that anything you need to get out of there is just very easy for you to grab on yes if you're new to my channel you're very very welcome i would love for you to subscribe and be a part of what's going on here and at the end of this video if you enjoyed watching definitely give this video a huge thumbs up so if you want to see how i transform my cabinet from looking like this to looking like this then definitely keep on watching so i always like to start by showing you guys the state of whatever i am organizing and today i am organizing my spice pantry like i said earlier and this is it this is exactly what it looks like it is just all over the place i have a lot of spice in here you guys know i have a cooking channel so i have like african nigerian spices some oriental some continental asian you know just everything is in here and it is it is not a good site at all <laughs> and on the other side this is where i keep all my baking stuff i have like pancakes uh sugars teas even some condiments yeah this is where i put all of that so i am going to start first by removing everything i mean everything i have in here and yeah that's the that's the first step to having a very well organized pantry or whatever you are organizing so the next step is to sweep out the space of wherever you are trying to organize and i'm going to use this brush and dust pan so i'm just going to quickly use it to sweep out uh, you know the dirt and all the little, little stuff that are in my cabinet and you know just try to make the space clean these are shelf liners i got this from the dollar store this is one of the things that i love to shop for whenever i go there and i'm sure that you guys have seen it in most of my organizing videos i especially love these ones that comes with a floral pattern or floral design the material is so so soft and i love how it brightens up the space of wherever i am organizing i also love this one i love the pattern very much but i am not going to be using this today so if you want to go with the low end uh uh, shelf liners you can definitely get some from the dollar store i assure you they do a very very good job and i don't need to use glues or gum or nails you know to hold this down all i need all i need to do is to just you know lay it flat and then it stays it stays you guys can see it stays but if you want to go on to use glues or, or whatever to keep it down to make it very very secure then you can absolutely do that So this is everything I brought out of my cabinet. These are all my spices, you guys. I have a lot. But the thing is, a lot of uh, the spices here are expired. There are some things that have been here for over two, three, four, and even five years. And they are just in there taking space. So the first thing I'm going to do is to, de is to declutter, to sort out, you know, whatever should not go back in there. I'm going to remove all the expired condiments and spices everything expired is going to go into the trash so this is a ketchup that expired in 2014 and you guys can see it, it has been in my cabinet all this time so this is definitely going into the trash and so are many other stuff I also found out that I have a lot of empty cans and containers in my cabinet. These are taking some good space and I'm definitely putting them in the trash. So I'm going to introduce you guys to the stuff that I use for organizing. I get my organizing uh, agents or my organizers from Ikea, from Amazon and a lot, a lot, a lot from the dollar store. Yes. So this is how I am going to start. I'm going to transfer the spices in these big plastic bottles into these beautiful transparent glass bottles that i got from ikea the bottles came in a set of 24 i really really love them i've always had them i just wanted to get some new sets i really love the size i love the shape i love that it's transparent so that i can easily see anything i'm putting in there i also got the spice labels from amazon you guys this is one thing i love 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 so much this thing has over a hundred spice whatever spice that you have and it even have like some empty uh, space where you can write 
you know whatever spice that you have that might not come in the sets so all you need to do is to just remove the label and put it on the on the cover of of the bottles and you guys can see how beautiful this is looking This is a tier tier spice organizer that I got from Amazon. It actually comes in different colors, but I really love this blue, so that is why I got it. It is also very, very affordable. And everything I got from Amazon that I've used in this video and that I've mentioned, you can find them in the description box. So yeah, check it out if you are interested. So this is where my beautiful spice bottles are going to go. You guys can see it is already transforming. I also got this Lazy Susan from Amazon. And this is where my other spice bottles are going to go. So the next step for me is to transfer all my flour, my powder, my cereal foods into the cereal containers. I got these containers from the dollar store. I was so happy when I found them because to get a set of these uh, cereal containers from the high end stores are usually like 20 or 24 dollars and that is just too much. So I knew I was lucky when I found them at the dollar store because they are usually not there and they do a very good job, you know, in securing anything you put in there. The air does not get in, you know, it stays in there very well. And yeah, I am, like I said, I'm going to transfer all my like my my all-purpose flour my pancake mix you know my waffle mix my cereals into these containers and i will use the same label that i got from amazon you know to label and distinguish the different flowers So I wanted to put my tea bags in these uh, tiny beautiful uh, containers that I got from the dollar store but I changed my mind and I'll show you guys what I ended up doing in a bit. So we are done and this is what my spice cabinet is looking like. You guys can see how beautiful, well arranged, well organized everything is looking. Let me just quickly take you through everything. I arranged uh, my spice cabinet according to how I use my spices. So on this lower shelf, I have all the spices that I use every single day. And that is why I decided to put these uh, transparent uh, bottles down here, down below here. You guys can see I have some excess that I put on the side. And these are stuff that, like I said, I use every day. So I wanted them to be down below so that I can easily grab on them. And on the middle shelf, I have more spices and I love how this lazy Susan just spins around, makes my life so so easy, makes my cooking easy. And on the top shelf, I have the excess of um, excess spices that I put in the in, in the bottles down below. So these ones are just gonna be here. Whenever I need them, I will come there, take some and transfer into this uh, the transparent bottles down below. And this is my baking area where I put all my baking stuff. As you guys can see, all my flowers are down below. Since this whole uh, lockdown season, I have been doing a lot of baking, you know, meat pies, egg rolls and stuff. So yeah, that's why I have all my baking uh, flour, all my flowers down below. I don't have a lot of space, so I just put um, my brown sugar back in there. So I decided to put my teas in this beautiful plastic uh, white basket that I got from the dollar store. I wanted to use the other uh, tiny baskets which I also got from there but they uh, they were kind of just all over the place so I decided to put everything you know in this uh, basket and yeah it is very stylish I actually love it better I love the fact that it has a handle you know which makes it very easy to bring down I also got a tiny uh, a little yellow one you know to also do the job of keeping my teeth so yep if you go to the dollar store just keep your eyes open these things are always there and in here is my cereal and on top these are all my condiments and yeah you guys can see there's a lot of space behind because i threw a lot of stuff away a lot of stuff that we expired so these are all the empty boxes that i got rid of that were taking a lot of space in my cabinet and i'm so happy i did and you guys, I love the way everything came out. You guys can see how beautifully organized it is looking. 
thank you all for watching today's video let me know what you think in the comment section subscribe if you have not give this video a huge thumbs up and i'll see you all in my next one bye